morning. I'm doing a, probably a, a two-fold, maybe even a three-fold video this morning. Um, this is intended to be a cast iron Wednesday video. It's still in April, so it's going to be the part of the breakfast challenge. I'm going to make waffles in my little uh, um, Rome uh, cast iron um, waffle irons. And in addition, I'm going to make an extra batch of waffles because I want to make um, I want to make another meal and hopefully a video to follow out of uh, um, Cowboy Kent Rollins' new book that that I had just got for my birthday. We were supposed to go to Nashville and see him a couple days afterwards for a book signing, but with this all this coronavirus thing, you know, that all got canceled. So uh, that and the tornado that came through Nashville, I'm pretty sure it didn't help. But uh, um, so I'm going to make an extra batch of waffles to f for that meal uh, out of this book. Um, so this morning I'm going to just do waffles and a couple sausage patties uh, to go with it. And I thought that this would also, um, it's a little chilly this morning, but uh, I don't know, mid-30s. Pretty odd too because just the other day it was mid-60s in the morning. Um, so a little back and forth right now. But uh, I think this would also make a good uh, video for my outdoor cooking series or my meals for base camp series so give me a couple minutes I'm gonna get my waffle irons heating up and I'm using which you can't see it's not in frame right now um, my little Coleman stove for everything but uh, uh, give me a couple minutes to get this started and we'll, um, we'll get going okay I've got a I've got a waffle iron heating up and my cast iron skillet which isn't up to temperature yet. It's a. Um, it's one of my gr my grandmother's that my mother gave to me uh, last year. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know much about the history other than it's an old one, but um, a number number eight and a ten and a half inch skillet has all the markings on it. So. I tried looking that up once before, but I, uh, I really don't know what it is. I'm, I'm sure it dates back into the 1940s, maybe 50s, I don't know. Um, I know my grandmother gave it to my mom back in the 1970s, so uh, it's older than that. Anyhow, just kind of neat. Um, so, I got a second I was going to show you. Uh, my my irons for waff, my waffle irons and they are just a, a small little four and a half inch waffles is what they make and nothing real special going on today just a great value brand uh, Belgian waffle mix um, pretty much made it as as package instructions with the exception of uh, I had some I had some almond milk left over from a different project and just to help get used it up uh, for the one and a half cups of water that the mix called for I used one cup of the uh, almond milk and then the half cup of the water so it should uh, should give it a little extra vanilla and uh, you know slight almond flavor maybe like uh, you know an angel food cake or something would that's my hopes and I've got a little bit of butter melting um, off the residual heat from the uh, the iron which is starting to warm up so butter's melting pretty good sausages are just now starting to fry Okay, so I put my my sources around that the iron's up to pretty good temperature here. I'll try to do this quickly. Wipe out some of that. 
and Fairly thick, like your cake batter. All right. Guess I probably could have put a little bit more in there. And the box says for three to five minutes. I'm going to do two minutes on each side. I just flipped it over, but what I'm looking for is for it to quit steaming. Okay, it's been four minutes. It's still steaming a little bit, but not a tremendous amount. Let's take a peek on it real fast. Yeah, I'm going to call that one good. And uh, bear with me, I'm going to do this off camera because it's kind of cumbersome, I think. Yeah, it's stuck on one side. So give me a quick second to pull it out of there and I'll show you what it looks like. Alrighty, and that, that is it. Excuse me for handling it, I just want to let you know it's done pretty well on both sides. A little bit of the, some of the dust I didn't get out of there earlier, but all in all it's going to be okay. And I'm going to send this one into the house for my wife for her breakfast. All right, get another one going here. I put the, I put the skillet back on the other burner. It, uh, it does not burn as hot. And I'm right in the camera. Okay. One more butter here. Number two underway. Okay, and it has been four minutes again. Let's see how we did on this guy. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more on that one. It looks still a little on the blonde side, so I'm gonna let it go maybe another minute on that side. Okay, let's take a peek on them now. Yeah, there we go. So Okay, a little caking on that side still, but yeah, I could have let it go a little bit longer. 
I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast. And a little maple syrup. And a little for the sausage. Alright, so let's see how we did. Okay, even though it's not going to brown up, the bottom of that plate's pretty hot where that side was. That's pretty good. Definitely vanilla y. I like it. Oh, pretty good little breakfast. Truthfully, I think I'll have two of them. Okay, so, um, D, I want to thank you again for. Uh, for coming up at the Cast Iron Wednesday, and uh, congratulations on two years of that. Um, I want to thank the rest of you guys for watching along. Please be on the lookout because I'm making quite a few more waffles. So there's a second breakfast that I uh, that I want to make, and it's probably tomorrow's breakfast um, in the Dutch oven. One of uh, one of Cowboy Kent Rollins's. The video is pretty neat, and then again. I, it was in his new cookbook, so something I'm anxious to try. And uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.